Deja, thank you. With just 25 days to go until the Tokyo Olympics, we're going through a lot of trials right now. My co-anchor Lindsay Shively live in St. Louis this morning following the U.S. Gymnastics Olympic trials. We will get out to her live right now to talk a moment about the track, specifically one former Olympian from our area. Obviously, you're covering gymnastics, but that's not the only thing going through getting ready for the people ahead of Tokyo. No, we want to talk about Muna Lee. Taylor, you and I got a chance to meet her a little while ago earlier this summer. Uh, Muna Lee made her Olympic debut as a runner in 2004. Now she's working as a coach and hoping to inspire the next generation. Here's 41 Action News anchor Dia Wall. Muna Lee is known for her talent on the track. I'm a two-time Olympian, 20-time uh, All-American most decorated athlete at LSU. And she started here. And then when she got to high school, she didn't lose a race. So when you have a kid that's that good, we tried to start setting other goals. So goals, is, our goals were not necessarily to win. Our goals were times or to make it to Olympic trials or to make it to bigger meets and that kind of thing because winning just became natural. Fast forward to 2004, then 2008, and Lee did represent Team USA, running the 100 and 200 meter races. Now she has a different measure of success. Oh yeah, I'm a coach now. Better. I just want them to do better than they did the last time. Are you the same kind of coach that you had or a different kind of coach than you had? I think I'm way more nonchalant than most of my coaches. Gotta get them down, you can't reach at all. In some ways, Lee is like the coaches she had as a kid. They let me know that I can get out of here. I can always come back to, that's my big thing, always coming back, giving back, doing everything I can for people that want to go on and be successful, go to the Olympics. How you doing? I'm good, how are you? <laughs> All right. The bonds built during her brutal summer workouts years ago. When I ran summer track, I ran like this. <laughs> Chin up, this is wild. I was just <laughs> Have lasted her whole life and into her new career. Seeing her, her work ethics, and still, Taking on what she learned back then, on to what she's developed now, meant so much. The thing about her is that she grew up not too far from where we're at right now. It's fun to watch her take that next step in her career and her life of going into coaching and that kind of thing. So giving back what she learned over the years is kind of special. And Lee is working with special athletes like Zaya Aikens. So you've been running since you're five? Yes, ma'am. Oh, which favorite part? Favorite part of running? Yes. Honestly, I don't have a favorite part. I just like running. I'll be in the zone once I start and I get out. I'm like, okay, I'm cool. But beforehand, I'm like having many panic attacks trying to calm myself down. I just try to tell myself to keep breathing and relax and just focus on my race. Aikens is a beast. As she kind of reaches, so I'm trying to get her to come back down under her. I mean, she has all the all the tools. She reminds me of a young Mona Lee at this age. So, and when by her being assigned, I mean, basically coached by another Olympian, it's pretty much she's already putting herself in that position. So the best part, she gets to teach me everything she knows, what she experienced. She gets to just let me know the inside scoop of everything. As she sprints, Aikens is shining, shaping her own journey with one goal in mind. Representing country, running against the best from everywhere, the whole entire world. It just seems cool to do, see who's the best. A former Olympian training a hopeful future Olympian here in her hometown. I feel like I'm being successful right now, just getting the girls better. In Kansas City, Dia Wall, 41 Action News. Oh my goodness, how fabulous is that? Maybe we'll get to see Zaya represent USA in the Olympics someday too. And how cool that she's now being trained by an Olympian. That's phenomenal.